Hey guys, me here, and today I am filming a haul video for my newest ketchup CD package. This actually did come with two other packages, my Dini albums and my Luna albums, but I've already uploaded both those unboxings, so I will leave links in the description box and also in the iCard if you want to check those out. But I asked you guys on Instagram if you wanted me to unbox this package or haul this package because um, I don't plan on making unboxings for everything in this package, and a lot of, like, over 300 of you told me to do it. <laughs> so, here I am. So, we're going to open this ketchup CD package. As you can see, it's flat again. Um, I don't know why this keeps happening to my ketchup packages. My other packages arrive fine, and my ketchup ones always arrive flat these days. I'm actually really happy I'm hauling this because there is a little bit of a story time to go along with this package. But let me go ahead and open it up first, and then we will get into the story time. So I'm just going to show you the inside of this box real quick so you can see how flat it actually is without showing you the outside edges. Look! Look at this. I don't understand. Um, but anyways, ketchup always uses a ton of bubble wrap, so I guess it's okay that things keep coming flat. There's two albums in this one. As you can see, one is Stray Kids, which there's really no reason it took me this long to get Stray Kids' album. I'm just lazy. <laughs> I also got Leo's album, and these look like Stray Kids pre-order postcards. Again, I think I might do an unboxing for Leo, so maybe I won't open this one on camera, but I will open my Stray Kids one. Um, let me open this to just have it open. So I have MXM's full length album, More Than Ever. Yay! I got Red Velvet's album, finally. Do you know how many of you guys like asked me if I was ever gonna get Red Velvet's album? And that's the story time. So, um, Let's open, but I got Wendy's. I didn't, like, Ketchup doesn't let you choose a member, so I was like, please send me Wendy's because this has been an annoying experience trying to get this album. So let me open Stray Kids. I haven't seen any unboxings, so I also don't know which version this is because I bought a random version, but I'll know before I post this video. But these are, oh, it's not like a, it's a book. Oh my gosh, so cute. I think this album is so good. Like, Stray Kids are definitely one of my favorite rookies from this year and then we have some stickers um but yeah i think they're just like killing it okay and i do collect Regent's photo cards so it would be nice to pull him my little thing is like bent which makes me sad can i fix it mm, i don't know oh how does this oh everything's in the back so let's look this is weird. Oh, probably because I have to remove that. So, who did I get? I don't even know. <laughs> who is this? Oh, so I pulled this Wujin card, the yellow border card. And I also pulled Han Jisung. <laughs> because uh, that's actually really exciting because he's like my second bias slash bias list owner, so that's actually really exciting, but he is up for trade for Woojin's card, even though I love him so much. If this isn't Woojin, if I've decided by the time I post this video that it's not Woojin, this is up for Woojin's as well. Oh, I'm so happy to pull one of his cards. Let's look through this photo book. This album is so good. Like, it's really, really good. There's really no reason it took me this long to buy it. It just... Oh my goodness, Chungbin, another life ruiner of mine. Oh, so, oh gosh, I love Jisung so much. Sinin. Oh my gosh, this photo looks gorgeous. Lino looks so good. Felix looking really good too, oh my goodness. And then there's lyrics on the back. Is this random? Oh, it is! <laughs> I got Felix. I got Felix's little poster thing. JYP is so random. Like, literally the most random human being in the world. Random company. Why do I feel like there's something else in here that's random? Oh, it's a front page thing, isn't it? Oh, I got Chungmin's. I'm just looking at all the normal places that there's random JYP things and seeing if they're there. So yeah, this album is so good. I really, really like it. They've been making little music videos for most of the songs, which is really cool, but I really love my page. Voices is so good. Questions, MIA. They released a teaser for Awkward Silence yesterday. 
love that. I'm not rushing this unboxing, but I'm rushing it a little bit just because I really want to go buy my BTS albums. I might unbox this as well. Okay, let's talk about Red Velvet. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna do an unboxing of this just because I want to ch rant, rant, chat, because so many of you guys have asked me if I was buying this album, and I told you that I was, and I had it, I pre-ordered it on the day it came out, first of all. So I took another attempt at buying it from Music Plaza, which was stupid of me, but you know, we live and we learn, so these aren't even in frame. One of my favorite, favorite girl groups, um, they're my second favorite girl group currently, and I was so excited, and I really like this album and this music video and this concept, and I love summer albums, and I love Red Velvet, so like, it's perfect, right? And so when the prayers went up, there were solo member covers, as you can see, everybody knows that now. What ended up happening was I was looking for a place that was selling individual member covers, because most places were random, and at first we didn't know if they were going to be random, like, member covers or if you were going to be able to choose when the album actually got released. So Music Plaza was one of the few places that had member covers and I was like, okay, well I'm pre-ordering on the first day. I pre-ordered from their store, like their website, because when I complained about Music Plaza last time, I used their eBay store and everybody was like, well their like, actual store, like their online store, is so much better. You should use that. Like that is the way that most people order from Music Plaza. So I was like, okay. I made an account, I bought the album, first day of pre-orders, two weeks went by after the album got released, and I had not heard any sort of news from Music Plaza about shipping my album, and the album was out of stock on their store, so I was like, okay, well, if they ran out of some, I was, I pre-ordered on the first day, like, how could I be that, and with very good shipping, too. I paid for very expensive shipping because I wanted the album, and I thought that would help me a little more. I had a couple of friends who were going to do the same thing, and who, like, lived in California, like, where the store is located. So, um, I don't understand that, so I canceled my order, bought it on Ketchup City. Here it is. Moral of the story, I'm overusing Music Plaza. They, like, never sent any updates or anything about it. They just kind of, like, let it be super annoying i was really mad about it but at least the album is here now and i can finally listen to red velvet oh my gosh it was so annoying so yes i bought the normal edition and i also asked ketchup to send me wendy's version which you can see that they did which was exciting and i got wendy's photo card oh my goodness that's really really exciting i don't really know what the photo card situation is like for this album but I do know that I pulled a Wendy power up, got their eighth win today. So uh, shout out to that. To everybody who like hated the song. But I like tend to really like annoying songs. I don't know. Not that this song is like extremely annoying because I don't think it is, but songs that other people find annoying. And then we have Wendy's limited edition, finally. Oh my god, why did this take so long? I haven't even seen an unboxing of this, so this is a slipcover, but you can also set it up with the little pop-up stuff. I actually like that it's a slipcover because there's no magnet or anything that like keeps this part down, so it's going to do the same thing as Rookie. And, ooh, looks like I pulled Joy's photo card. Oh, she's so pretty, I love her and oh yeri i was like why does that look like I, I that looks like luna or not luna oh my goodness that looks like yuna a little bit of girl's generation but yeah so these two are portrayed for wendy i'm not sure what the photo card situation is like for this like i said but um and then what else is in here this is the puzzle thing i'm gonna mess with this later this is the cd this album is so good i just really wanted when it came out so i could have it and listen to the songs I don't download b-sides before I get the album in the mail if I'm buying the album. Is this the same photo book? No, definitely not. Oh, that's good. That makes me happy. So cute. What the heck? Anyways, I'm just so, so happy that this finally arrived. It's so annoying. So yeah, whenever I try to venture out and buy from other stores, I feel like I have issues. Except recently I bought, um, I pre-ordered D&E's album from a different seller than my normal eBay seller, and 
um, that turned out really, really well. So, yeah, that actually was almost better than when I ordered from my seller. I might start doing that more. So that's it for this whole video, I think. I don't know. Should I open MXM? I might do an unboxing of this. I'll do an unboxing. I don't think I've unboxed an MXM album in a while, so I'm gonna unbox that. But yeah, so these are the things I got in my haul. Stray Kids, Red Velvet are the two I opened here, and then I'm gonna unbox Leo and MXM. So those videos will be up soon. But yeah, I'm planning on uploading all my BTS videos and then uploading this video. After this video, you'll see these unboxings. Yes, I like that plan. Okay, <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video. If you've ever given a store a second chance before and they've just disappointed you twice because yeah. I'm not really a three strikes you're out kind of person when it comes to my favorite groups and K-pop stores. So, so yeah, thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye.